This weekend, we heard the devastating news that Uli Steck had been killed in an acclimatization climb in the Everest region of Nepal. He'd been preparing to climb a super hard and unrepeated climb on Everest without the use of supplementary oxygen. I'll put more information in the copy below. Uli was known for pushing the possibilities of what was possible in climbing, taking a fast and light alpine approach to the big mountains to climb them as quickly as possible. His skill and dedication to his craft was evident to all. We were lucky enough to work with Uli a few times and today's show is a tribute to him. Sometimes you feel like maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm right, what I'm doing, is it correct or not? If we move on, there will be people they don't understand that. I do it for myself and not for the story or for the public. I'm climbing since 27 years. It's nothing really new anymore, but I still like it. I still want to do it. It's really difficult to find some, some good challenges. He's the Swiss machine, so he's strictly training, 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 project. And what he wants to do, he do right. Uli is for sure not a normal alpinist. He brings the, the alpinist to a new level with the speed mountaineering he's doing. In my climber's life, how many times you slip or there is just a rock going away and nothing happens, but you never know how close it was and you're gone, you know? It's kind of like, whoa. People think I'm, I'm a machine, I'm really like taking lots of risk, but I'm, I'm, a, I'm a scared guy, you know? Like when I'm in the mountains, Decisions are really clear for myself. It's like, pff, I just do what I do. The risk is constantly there and you, you deal with it. There's always a decision, how fast can I go? Do I have to slow down because it's dangerous? Do I down climb? Do I take a rope? There's always like these decisions constantly about the risk. Mountaineering is more dangerous than doing like an office job. That's the fact. So in the end, I think you have to figure out what makes sense in your life, what drives you and what makes you happy. I just like this, this simple way of living, you know? Nowhere else you have just such a simple world. Think like you're Superman, you're never gonna die, this is super dangerous. Sometimes, I get scared about myself afterwards because during the climb, I can really like avoid any, any emotions. And I think that's really, really important. If you're climbing alone and you get emotions, then you freak out. If you hang on like two small holes somewhere, a thousand meters on the ground, you know exactly what's gonna happen when you fall down. And I just realized once more how, how much I like to be alone in the mountains because up there it's just you and the nature and the mountain. Our thoughts are with Uli's friends and family at this time and we want to celebrate the life of a man who was truly an inspiration to all climbers. Thanks for watching.